Good morning and welcome to Check It Out with Rich. Uh, I am finally getting around to doing my last Beach Lane product that they sent me for review. So um, I've been pretty busy and trying to fit things in, but let's uh, get this opened up. I've already opened it and checked it out, but uh, let's uh, see what's in here. Okay, yeah, they sent out an email um, asking if I want to try some more products. I already did the uh, leveler and something else. I forget what the other one was. But uh, I said, yes, one is this, which is the water filter. And I did their um, stabilizer for like the back end of your camper. And what was the other one? Oh, and the uh, ladder that goes on your tailgate, which I really like that thing. That thing is superb. All right, so let's see what we have here. Got instructions. You got the filters themselves, which seem like they're pretty well made. Uh, got brass connectors on it. Um, even in between, there's also a brass connector, not plastic. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, yeah, they seem pretty well made. Also comes with a wrench to get the uh, filter housings off and I'm missing something. Oh. It comes with a set of extra o-rings for on here. Now I don't know if they're silicone or what. This is just a warning about keep away from kids the bag. Okay so let's take a look here. Open one up. We'll open them both up. All right, this one is a 0.5 micron. So this would be on your, your um, outside supplying to the camper. And there is an O-ring in here. I would, if you bought this, I would double check that this O-ring is in correctly. Might be why they uh, sent extras. Okay, and then this one is a five micron. If you don't know how big a micron is, um, roughly 70 microns is your hair. So one strand of hair is around 70 microns. And this uh, O-ring looks good too. And these are, these are your standard, I think they're 10 inch or 9 and 3 quarter filters. So you don't have to buy them off of uh, Beach Lane, Amazon. You can pick these up anywhere, Walmart, wherever. Okay, the inside, everything looks normal like any other filter. All right, let's see what we have here. Installation instructions. It's all straightforward. Uh, this does have a lifetime warranty, which is pretty good. Uh, the fittings are lead-free, naturally. Uh, they even tell, I, I haven't read this yet, they even tell you here to check your O-rings. Okay, so there's a couple of changes I want to make here. Number one, I want to be able to mount this on my frame and leave it there for when we have full hookups. So I bought these magnets. I'm going to put them on here so I can just snap it right onto the uh, frame and pull it off. And my other issue is, where's it at? There is an arrow, but I can't say it, but there's an arrow here for direction of flow. It's the wrong way. So I'm going to take this off, spin it around, put the bracket back on, and I can't see why it won't work. So let me get that done. I'll get everything back together and we'll uh, check it out. Okay, that took less than 10 minutes to do. I just took the four screws out, which these screws are stainless steel, which is nice. The mounting bracket isn't. That could possibly be a nice uh, upgrade if they did that, made that out of stainless steel. And I just spun around and then added the two magnets. I will put in uh, the description a link on Amazon for the uh, filter, which I think they're $70, which isn't too bad if you look at some of the uh, other brands out there. And also put a link for the uh, magnets. I had to buy these in a four set, which is no problem. I'll find a use for them. All right, so let's get this thing together. 
and then this will be my inside so the water is coming this way so we want to take the 5 micron filter they say to lube these uh, o-rings up which I'll, I'll end up doing before I hook the water up to it um, if you do use uh, food grade silicone lube or uh, uh, plumber's grease is good too And there's Rebecca. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, okay, so all you do, you put it in there. There's a little nub at the bottom that goes into the hole. And uh, make sure you got the right side here because this is the 5 micron. Now, this is a lot easier when it's mounted. So we'll just snug that up for now. Next, take the uh, 5 micron. Same thing, there's a little nub inside, you probably can't see it, oh yeah you can. Drop that one in here. Get that snugged up. Except for uh, lubing the o-rings up and tightening these up, we're good to go. So let's uh, go outside and we'll get this thing hooked up. Okay, so we are actually camping uh, at the 2024 Pennsylvania Meetup. Uh, we had 18 uh, alliances here. It's a very good time. But I finally got this done. Um, I got the magnets on. I turned the mounting plate around so now the water will come in on this side and out on this side. And it's pretty easy just to stick up there. Um, what I have here on a camper, I have a two-foot hose. I think I'm gonna go to a three foot on it. It's a little tight down here getting everything together, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, hook it up. See how she works. Yeah, as you can see, this is pretty tight. Another foot on a hose would be nicer. Now I also put some plumber's grease on the O-rings. Yeah, this would be a lot easier with that. Okay, and then, okay, now as you can see, I'm just going to take this up, and it's a lot easier if I can see, and that's it. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but I have the hose caked here, so I want to move this to the right a little bit to take that kink out of the hose. Okay, then next, I want to take my supply line and get that on if i had the three foot hose i could do all this on the ground and then just put it straight up okay yeah i think it'll be a lot easier with either a three or four foot hose here i could hook everything up on the ground and then just take it straight up um it mounts real easy uh, there's still water in here so it's a little heavy but it still uh went on there pretty good all right let's uh turn the water on and check for leaks Any leaks back? I don't see any water. Okay. Right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a longer hose. Uh, probably three foot would be enough. Um, even four wouldn't hurt. Um, they do have the O-rings on Amazon. They're ten dollars for four O-rings. Uh, the filters are you get three pair for forty dollars, but the filters you can buy anywhere. Uh, the housing itself that came with everything was $70 on Amazon. So it's not too bad of a price. There's some cheaper ones out there, but it's really not that bad. Yeah, I'm gonna see if there's some way I can mount it behind a Nautilus panel. Um, I got some other stuff going on back there, so it might be a little difficult. I've seen some people have it. They have their regulator here and they'll have a valve and it's hose goes right to the uh, filters then comes down and hooks up to your uh, city, city water connection so I may try to do that but for right now this is going to work okay I will put all the uh, parts including the o-rings and uh, spare filters in the description along with the filter housing itself I want to thank 
Beach Lane for sending this to me. And I hope this helps somebody out. And so once again, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you all next time. Bye.